Hello guys and welcome to another Game Domain video with your host Michael here today. Now I'm here to talk about the 8th generation of gaming today. The 8th generation of gaming is the first generation where you may actually be confused whether a game is real life or whether it's not. That's only with cutscenes in games with the best graphics. And if you do get confused, it's usually only for a short amount of time. Tech demos for games such as Uncharted 4 look 90% completely realistic, but there are some things that point to it being a game. By the next generation, tech demos hopefully will look 100% realistic. Now, I'd like you guys to look at this clip from the Uncharted 4 tech demo. It looks pretty realistic. Looks very realistic. By the next generation, cutscenes will be hard to tell the difference from real life ga and games, but I don't expect it to be 100% realistic looking. However, in the 10th generation of gaming, which will probably happen at around 2024 or 2025, game cutscenes will mostly look like live action and the, ga and the gameplay, not too far from it. Once you reach the 11th generation of gaming, which I'm expecting to happen around 2031, games will mostly look like live action. Gameplay and cutscenes and have a much higher resolution, such as 8K or 16K, assuming those resolutions will be viewable in 2030. There will eventually be no, there will eventually be really no way to improve the graphics, which is why developers have to will have to look for a new level of immersion. Visual reality, virtual reality is a fantastic start. You get to move around for some VR sets. Add that with some live action looking graphics, and you're completely immersed. Or are you? We have seen in some books or even TV shows that people have been completely transported into a video game. Will this ever be possible? Who knows? And if it is, and you're not using control anymore, how can games ever advance? If this can't ever happen, how will games advance? True, the hardware will be more powerful, but eventually consoles will no longer be in use because of innovative PCs that can be upgraded for each generation. As they can now. Open world games will be much bigger and could possibly take days to trek across. The physics engines will look like real life physics and will very much replicate it. After that, games will really be at a standstill as there will be no more hardware innovations, or at least not major ones that I've been able to think of. Remember before when I talked about transporting into a game? Okay, well let's pretend that becomes a reality. How will it work? Will you feel pain and would you actually have to run or would you not, or would you not lose any endurance? Who knows? This probably won't happen, though. Although some sets that I've heard of in the past have actually, there have been ideas of replicating pain and things like that into virtual reality experiences. In conclusion, many people keep hoping for better graphics. And that is, and is that a bad thing? It really isn't. But there's no need to rush for better graphics. The graphics we think are, are good now won't be good in 10 years. So why can't everyone just understand that eventually graphics can't get any better and we won't be able to imagine what the next generation's graphics will look like. I hope you guys enjoyed this game domain video. Feel free to post any thoughts down below in the comment section. And remember to give the video a, a like rating and to comment. Have a nice day guys and this has been Game Domain.